Welcome to World Breaker Coog's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coog, and today we are reviewing Marvel Legends Green Goblin. I apologize, I don't have any Green Goblin uh, comics or anything that really has them that's remotely close, so we won't have the normal comics next to us to compare him to the comics, but this character is very similar to what you've seen in other roles, so we're not going to spend too much time on that. This figure itself is very nice. I love the color. Look how that green just launches out with the scale. Uh, very metallic looking. Uh, has this little satchel, which is really a purse that's the same thing as Mary Jane's. We're not gonna talk about that though. Um, he has the gl goblin glider that looks pretty darn sweet. Um, he also has this pumpkin bomb. So yeah, that's looking pretty sweet as well with this green flame coming out of it. So nice accessories. Um, looks good on the glider. Um, love the, let's see, the head, the head folk point. You've got the nice little ears. I mean, they just, they did a good job. And I'm sure a lot of this is reuse, but honestly, it, it looks damn good. Um, it took me a while to finally find this. I just got lucky one day in a Target story store and I saw it. Um, I've only seen this once in the wild, so very happy to have this. Um, let's get him off his stand and see how cool he is when he's not gliding. And take his feet down. Let's stand him up. This is actually the first time I've stood this guy up without the flight stand. Let me bring it down so you can see. Because he looks so good on his glider, I've never actually had him off of his glider. Okay, so he still looks pretty good, you know. Not like groundbreaking or anything, but still nice. Um, I love the face. I mean, that's, well, when I say love, I mean the face is really accurate. Because no one loves this face, okay. So, there's that. But very cool looking figure. Um, I do highly recommend it. Um, it's definitely worth the full purchase if you see it. Um, but as we always do, is it better than Black Panther? No. Okay, I'm not even going to debate with this for very long. Um, but honestly, it's a lot closer than you think. Um, it's not, but it does come with a lot of cool things I like. If it wasn't for the fact that I love Black Panther um, and that his mode wasn't just super comic accurate, then this guy might have edged him out. But he's so ugly. Um, the only thing that would have put this Norman Osborn figure over the top of Black Panther is if they came with a Norman Osborn head. That would have killed it because Norman Osborn is one of my favorite villains. Green Goblin's not because I think Green Goblin is nothing compared to Norman Osborn because when he's in that Norman Osborn sane persona, he's more stable. He's kind of like, you know, certain presidential figures. But anyway, we're not gonna get into politics. So there's that. So um, I hope you've liked this review. Hope you like this figure. Um, and until next time. Well, you know what? This is Green Goblin. So we're not going to say until next time. Pumpkin. Oh, I couldn't do it. I was going to say Pumpkin Goblin, but it's okay. Until next time. Peace. <laughs>